Hey YouTube! Today I will be flashing the Samsung Galaxy Tab GT P1000 to the newest firmware, the official one. So what I did is I installed keys or keys or whatever it's called. I'm gonna uninstall as soon as I'm done because it's a very heavy program. It slows down everything kind of like iTunes but it's a little better like everything is a little better when you're not using Apple products sorry about that so it's trying to connect to the tablet and here we have it found. At the moment, as you can see, PDA JJ7, Phone JK5, CSC JK2, and the newest is uh, quite a lot farther than uh, the firmware I have. It's, it's, uh, this tablet has never been flashed, and Google has been working hard, of course, on new firmware. Well, there's a start button. Everything else should be like automatic. After this, I'm gonna do a guide for a custom firmware uh, and root access, uh, etc. Right now, I just want to see how this tablet works with the newest firmware. It worked good with the old one, but you know, Android 2 or Android 4 is really a big difference. Also, waiting for the amazing security features in Android 4.2. That'll be epic because it will be like a sandbox inside your phone which is totally uh, totally safe right now it's downloading where's my camera crooked shut down the torrents for a second because they're always downloading hard
download is ready. So it's going in download mode and then we'll just copy the firmware straight to the tablet. Then unpack it and uh, do a factory reset. It's in big letters, but really do not turn off the target in any point of flashing because it could break the tablet completely. Bricks are usually recoverable, but you do not want a brick, believe me. It's a lot of work. This will just take a couple of minutes. And that sells as long as it should take. By the way, if uh, the program does not recognize your tablet, you just need to uh, either run the, the wizard to fix that and uh, disconnect and reconnect. I just wait a little. I did this on another uh, slow computer and it literally took, uh, I think, eight minutes to uh, install the driver. So you think everything worked out and it still doesn't recognize, but it could still be busy installing the driver. The driver comes with the program, which is really good, of course. So you don't have to search for separate files. You can also uh, install the Google SDK, and that will also give you the drivers for any Google machine. Well, this is done. Right now it's flashing. As you can see, deleting system that's a factory reset, success successfully installed package, wiping cache, doing everything, and rebooting. That's fluent. After flashing, the first boot will always be a bit slower than uh, the boots after that. But that's just because uh, installing the firmware is being uh, is, uh, not done all the way yet. Right now, Windows is saying, uh, ooh, what's this? There's no driver for this. But that's just temporary.
Tum, tum, tum. this but 236 is of course not Android 4 coulda shoulda oh well coulda shoulda time to connect and it would seem that this Galaxy tab did not receive Android 4 officially doesn't mean we can't get Android 4 to run of course our friend at XDA developers work really really hard a lot of them in their spare time they don't make any money off it well, except for donations. So if you're on it, thank you for all the hard work. Well, we're gonna leave it at this for now, and I'll be back for rooting and stuff. Maybe just disconnect and reconnect. Stand by. Let's run the connection wizard again. Start. Disconnect.
Another weird thing. Tablet saying it needs to be in standby. And clearly, it should not be in standby. Well, it's on the latest firmware, so uh, I guess that's it. Latest official firmware for the GTP 1000. Check the next vid for uh, for booting and custom firmware. See ya.